Greetings friends! The park for NBA 2K23 on current gen or old gen has been revealed and it has a totally different layout with some new things that are available. For starters, there are 6 3v3 courts and 6 2v2 courts as well as 2 5v5 courts this time around. On top of that, there are 2 no weight courts available as well, including the Galleon which is a 1v1 court that takes place inside of an old ship so you can go and duke it out one on one to see who reigns supreme on the seven seas, yar. And then we have the bridge court, which is a 3v3 court that takes place inside of the control center on the cruise ship. And so both the bridge and the galleon courts are no way courts like we mentioned. And so you don't have to worry about jumping on spots or anything like that. Just go to the areas you need to go to and then you will be matched up with both your teammates and the opponents. These courts are going to be a great way to go and get some quick games in and also get your rep up. Not to mention, they both look pretty dope too. The Gatorade facility receives an update as well with the addition of a rental court. Now if you don't know what a rental court is, it was a feature that was introduced in NBA 2K21 on new gen. So now we get to see it on the old gen console on NBA 2K23 and so it allows you to go and team up with other players to go and play games or go and shoot around at practice. The cages also make their return as well with their familiar design except it takes place in a different part of the ship this time. It looks like it takes place where the pro-amp courts used to be. Some small things of note, there are two showers that are available on the cruise ship and so what these showers do is they allow you to go and refresh your server. This was a thing that was available in previous 2Ks and so they decided to bring that back. This is very convenient as you don't need to leave the park and come back in order to change servers. You can just go right into the showers and then refresh the server just like that. Presto! There's also a unique entrance to the Jordan Challenge as well as a new entrance to the Rec as well which is now labeled as the Rec Lounge. So you'll be able to go into a building and walk around a little lobby before you enter into the Rec just like on new gen. And finally, going back to the layout of the cruise ship, you can see that it's much more wide open than it was before and you get a nice beautiful view of a town across the water over there on an island. And also, I couldn't help but notice there was a patch of grass over in the corner of the cruise ship. And I was wondering, could that be a golf putting green or something like that? <laughs> I doubt it. But hey, one could dream, right? I, I love golf. What can I say? <laughs> All right. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Definitely make sure to go let me know in the comment section below what you think of the old gen version of the park in NBA 2K23. And also, make sure to go hit that like button and subscribe as we'll be doing more NBA 2K and PJ Tour 2K content going forward, as well as Writers Republic as well. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Ghost Panda Storm, where I'm not only talking about these games, but I'm talking about gaming in general. So if you are a gamer in general, then definitely make sure to go follow me on Twitter. Feel free to stop by and say hello. But anyway, thank you again very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace. Adios. Sayonara. Ghost Panda. Out of here.